So I was prowling in one of my usual thrift store haunts and saw this Sessions mantel clock among the non-working VCRs and bread makers. I thought it looked pretty cool. It was mostly all there. The case was a little rough and the back was missing and the pendulum weight was missing. The front glass was missing also, but the movement seemed to be all there, although it was stuck, it was not working. So naturally it followed me home. The first order of business will be to get the movement out of the case and see if I can get it to work. Here I'm preparing the movement to fit in my ultrasonic cleaner. I wish I'd have bought a larger one, but I'm going to have to make do with what I have. I'm going to try dunking the entire movement in the ultrasonic cleaner. Not sure if it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a try rather than uh, disassembling the whole thing. I have to clean one part of the movement at a time due to the small size of the ultrasonic cleaner. After the ultrasonic bath, I rinsed it thoroughly in water and used a hair dryer to dry the movement with. Then I gave it a good soak in isopropyl alcohol to hopefully displace any remaining water. I then used some synthetic clock oil to lubricate the movement. I tried to be as careful as I could not to over lubricate anything. As you can see, I made a test stand and the clock works just fine. I used a washer for a pendulum weight temporarily. Here I'm preparing the case for refinishing. I'm wet sanding with 600 grit paper to remove any wax, grime, dirt, as well as preparing for a lacquer finish. I'm spraying two coats of lacquer on the case.
It's not perfect, but it definitely looks better. I ordered a new clock face bezel with glass, and as soon as I got it, the, the solder joint promptly broke. I don't want to re-solder it because I'm afraid the heat would damage the clock face. So I'm going to use JB Weld to make the repair. I have to be careful here, everything has to line up just right. Some of the columns decorating the case were missing. I couldn't find any pictures of this particular clock. I had to use what was available and what I thought looked good. So this is what I came up with. Here I'm testing the mechanism for the chime. Here you can see I have the correct pendulum weight. At this point the clock has been running pretty much non-stop for almost a month now with no issues. The latch that holds the back in place flew out of the vise of its own free will and tragically was eaten by the garage floor monster. It will probably never be seen again. So I'm making another one out of a piece of scrap spring steel.
It chimes once on the half hour. And it chimes every hour. This has been an interesting and fun project. I really like this clock and I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.